Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are at Sick Week 2023. It's day two and we're at Bradenton Motorsports Park. Today I'm joined by Stefan Gustafson. He's the 2022 Sick Week champion. And we get to talk about his C4 Corvette back here with a turbocharged big block Chevy. And it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Stefan, thanks so much for giving us a little bit of time. Yeah, yeah again, congrats on last year's big win here at yeah. Sick Week, and you're back to defend the title. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we'd love to know a little bit more about the C4 Corvette and, uh, you know, the big block Chevy setup that you have. So if you could walk us through a little bit about how this car got started. The, the car started out in 2002. Uh, it's built by a Swede. And uh, it started out from three different Corvettes from a salvage yard. So it's like a hybrid. This is an I-89 rim and uh, it has different body parts on it. It's, uh, it's a 540, uh, big block Chevy, all the, all the standard stuff like a brute. Brodix block, uh, Callis billet uh, crankshaft, aluminium rods. It's built by Pete Harrell at HED in Mooresville. Okay. Um, we use, uh, as in the drag and drive engine, we have to be, be very, very nice to the valve train. So we use the TND, uh, the steel rockers with oilers and uh, band lifters. Um, Pete upgraded this uh, after drag week with uh, some. Uh, some thick every push rods, so one and a half, one and a half inch push rods now, to make them a bit stiffer. The cam, yes, yeah, piece secret, but it's a very, very mild cam. It uh, lifts around 650 and 250 duration at the L50. So it's pretty much a, just a standard big block, running like uh, 38 pounds of boost, making 2,100 to the tire with that. Wow, very nice. And and what kind of turbo are you running and what, what size is it? This is a 118 Precision the M2. Okay. And uh, we have been trying out some different had some turbo, some Precision, making almost the same power if you're using the same exhaust housing. Um, and for the back pressure with a single turbo, it's uh, with a 142 AR, it makes like uh, 1300. Yeah. With a larger one with a 1.5, with a, still a T6, it makes 1700. With this larger housing, uh, larger core, it makes 2,100, yeah. and the back pressure just drops when it's larger housing. So, yeah. on a single turbo, back pressure is everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, and it's paying off out on the track. You've had a couple of good runs already. Yeah. Uh, and this morning was was that one of your best passes? Yeah, it was the personal best. Yeah. They had yeah, been congrats. 652 before. Yeah. And this was a 643 instead. It was so fast we blew the doors off. Yeah, we had to yeah, we heard. 65 glass tonight. What was that like? Cause that you know, cause that doesn't happen very often. No, right? I've been having having the car for like six years and never had any issues with it. And yeah. we've been over 220 before, a uh, lots of times. Yeah. But this time it just blew the doors off after the finish line. You know, it's a saying. You know, you, you can blow the doors off, and you yeah. literally you oh, literally did off. it. You know, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh. Well, obviously the car is performing really well. Uh, you know. How's it been on the street so far, you know, on the drive from Orlando yeah, yesterday? It drives good. We, we, we take off the roof, the target top, okay. uh, because it, it's much easier to see the traffic behind. So we have this, uh, like a periscope mirror we put up and see back, backwards. Uh, but when we have it like that, it's getting really, really cold at night. So we have to put on the, our jackets and everything and was yeah. driving that. We had to swap the turbo out yesterday because it's smoking very, very much oil. So, um, this, so we, that put us back some uh, time on the schedule. So we was at the hotel like yeah. half past three this night, yeah. and the hotel messed up also. So we had to sleep in the car. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. Yeah, you don't want too many of those types of days. No. Right? Yeah. So hopefully we uh, can go to Valdosta, fix the door up, take a shower. Yeah, very good. And be ready tomorrow. So you're putting out over 2,000 horsepower. You know, you're it's paying off on the track. You know, you know, you can run. 650s, now 640s.
what's the expectation now going forward? You know, what, what else do you think this car might have in it? I hopefully like a mid 640. And uh, while Westbury did a 640 now, so we have to do a 640 something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and we were actually. We can't go home to Sweden with uh, being the second best. Right, right. Yeah, we were just talking with Michael not too long ago, and obviously a couple of you guys from Sweden are now, you know, becoming big names here at these drag and drive events. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about the drag and drive culture for you, you know, growing up in Sweden and now being here in the States and, and competing? It started out uh, like in street racing. Uh, and in 2003 and 2004 and 2005, we did the street racing scene in Sweden and uh, like Stockholm Open. And uh, 2005, I met this car in the finals and uh, won with my Le Mans. So in 2015, when it got uh, advertised, I wanted to have it because I had, still had the Le Mans. It was some uh, sort of um, yeah, it's a personal thing for me. So I bought that one. I didn't know what to do with this one. But then uh, the Dragon Drive started out in 2017 in Sweden. So we built an engine for it and uh, won the first uh, street week. And uh, after that, um, another guy won, but then Michael has won the two of them after that. Because I shit, no, but not for course, but I shit my car over here in 2018. So I wasn't there to defend it. And uh, it has been sitting here, COVID came. So, um, yeah, 2022 it was the first time to run it again. Yeah. And uh, it was a good year. I drove with Eric Yost, because uh, of big and He also the one that has the cars in his shop and does all the mechanic stuff where we are in Sweden and working. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And now you guys are here, and like we said, you won Sick Week last, last year, and you got expectations to repeat as champion this year. So, Stefan, we wish you the best of luck the rest of this week, and we appreciate the time to chat. Yeah. Guys, make sure you're checking out Stefan Gustafsson and uh, his awesome C4 Corvette. And, uh, of course, make sure you're checking out Engine Builder Mag for more engine content. We appreciate you watching this Engine of the Week. We'll see you next time.